Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm sharing you with some really cute DIYs for Christmas that'll get you in the Christmas spirit. Now I'm taking these boxes that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm turning them into such pretty decor you can place anywhere in under your tree or around your house. Now I already went ahead and made this first one. I lost the footage so I'm going to go ahead and show you um, these other two. I took this white fabric that I got at Dollar Tree in the automotive department and the scarf I got from Dollar Tree. Also this Christmas flora I got from Dollar Tree and um, a lot of the ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to start off with the round um, box and I'm just going to take the material underneath. I cut out the rim of it where I had the really hard pieces around the side and I made it nice and clean. And now I'm just going to measure, place the little round at the end and then I'm going to roll it and this way I know how much I need to cut. Now I'm taking some of my hot glue and placing it underneath and then I'm going to roll the material over it and, until I get to the end. Now I'm placing some hot glue on the side to complete it and then I'm going to have overhang of the material and at that point I'm going to cut the top and the bottom to let, so it lays flat. So now I'm taking another piece and playing it on the top, hot glued it and then I'm just going to cut all around it um, to make sure that it, um, it kind of blends and looks like one piece. Now I'm going to take this pretty blue book ribbon that I got from Dollar General and I'm going to start from the bottom, put a little glue and then wrap it all around till I get to the top. Now I repeat the process and I do the, um, the other side as well. I think the blue and the white goes together very well and very elegant looking and uh, I think it came out really cute. You'll see at the end. Now I'm taking some of this white glitter uh, ribbon. It's very pretty from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place it on top and wrap it around. Okay, so now that I have the white ribbon um, glued down, I'm going to take another piece of the blue ribbon and wrap it around the other side. I didn't have a smaller ribbon. This is kind of wide, but it still worked and I think still looked pretty. Now I'm taking these mini ornaments that I got from Walmart last year and I'm going to place um, the Let It Snow one on top. I think with the color and everything matches perfect. So I took one of Dollar Tree's um, Christmas floral and I just took it apart and I took some of the greenery and the pine cones and the white berries and I'm just going to hot glue that to the top. I didn't want to put too much on it because it is a small little round uh, box, but uh, I just wanted to add a little greenery to it and um, thought the white berries and the pine cone match very well. Just placing a little bit of the hot glue and just placing them around and um, to my liking. So I thought this would match very well. I got this from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place a little piece in front and then place that uh, ornament right above it. I think it came out cute. Now I'm taking the little Let It Snow ornament and I'm going to place it right in front of the berry and the pine cone and just hot glue it down. A red berry in between the greenery in the back. I think this came out really pretty and very festive for um, Christmas, especially it might match somebody's decor. You can change it up with different colors and look how pretty it looks.
So this is the square box and I was just going to show you how to make the square box, but I'm going to speed it up so this way, because um, you pretty much know from the first one I just showed you. So um, right now I'm just taking the ends off where the string is and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up, uh, roll it, so this way I know how much to cut. So I'm pretty much going to speed this up to give you an idea how to do a square one. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Come, let us adore him. Come. I went with the red and white uh, Dollar General ribbon and then the white sparkly ribbon from Dollar Tree. And uh, I think it matched very well with the black checkered print. All your citizens of heaven above, glory to God in the highest, come let us adore him, come let us So I'm using Dollar Tree Christmas uh, greenery and I'm just taking some of the greenery and placing it hot glue in the back and their little red uh, Christmas flower and then um, I think I use a pine cone as well a couple little ones and that'll set it off pretty good because it's a small little box and this is how it turned out I think this one came out really cute as well gives you an idea what you can do and um, decorate your house so here's the final review All right, this DIY, I took this music paper that I printed out on from Google and this um, truffle paint, this craft paper from Hobby Lobby and this antique white. And I got this from, I think Walmart last year and this red paint. I'm starting off by using the truffle paint and I'm gonna paint the roof, the sides and the bottom of the little house. Now I'm going to take the antique white and I'm just going to do the trim of the house all the way down and around the edges inside it. Now that that's dry, I'm going to take the craft paper and I'm going to place it um, in front and I'm just going to kind of like the edges with my fingers so this way I know where to cut it. Now I'm using my scissors and cutting out the craft paper to size and then I'm going to take this uh, spray adhesive I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just making sure that it fits properly and then just uh, straightening it out and um, tucking it in the corners. Now I'm taking the little music note that says Old Kamali Faithful and I'm just ripping the edges to make it look a little more like old type of music. Now off camera I just add a little bit of coffee to it and kind of crimple it up and now I'm taking a Mod Podge and I'm going to place it inside the little house. I think it looks cute. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to place it on top of the roof and I'm going to add some of the fake snow that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just taking a little bit and sprinkle it on top of the roof and a little bit like inside the roof area around the rim 
um, to make it look frosty looking. I think it looks really cute. Now I got this white cloth material from Dollar Tree Automotive Department and I cut a piece out to size and I'm just going to hot glue to the bottom of the little house. Now I'm taking some of this uh, Christmassy stuff from Dollar Tree and this little tiny wreath that I got um, from Hobby Lobby and I took some of this tree stuff I got from Dollar Tree and I just wrapped it around it and I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to place a little bit of berries around the little tree or the little wreath. Taking some hot glue and placing it in front of the little house and I think it looks adorable. Now I'm cutting off some of the pine cones and I'm placing two in front of the bottom of the house. I'm adding some Mod Podge to the pine cones because I'm going to sprinkle some of the fake snow on top of it. I added a little star at the end. I'm finishing it off with a little Christmas tree from Dollar Tree, and this is how it turned out. So for this day, I'm taking this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and these letters from Dollar Tree and then these ornaments that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the scrapbook paper and the ornaments and I'm going to trace them, all four of them. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut them out. Now I'm going to be using some Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it on the little ornaments and apply the cart craft paper on top. Now I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree letters and spell out the word Noel. So I'm using antique wax and I'm going to paint the top of the ornament. Um, however, um, I didn't like the way it looked, so I added a little bit of black to it. So I'm just using the mixture of antique wax and the colored black chalkboard black paint from Dollar Tree and just uh, mixing it. I think the color mixture makes it look better. I didn't like just the, the brown color on it. it, just didn't match. So I'm just using the same color mixture and just going around the edges of the ornaments and then I do a little bit um, distressing on the front of it with my finger just like blotching it around. Now I'm going to be using some paint sticks that I got from Home Depot. Um, they're like 98 cents. You get a pack of three or you get a pack of I think 10 or 8. I'm going to use this pretty red paint and I'm going to start painting the larger paint sticks. So I'm just going to be applying one quick coat. Now I'm going to be taking the smaller paint sticks and I'm going to be painting them with the Waverly chalk paint in white color. So I cut down the smaller paint sticks to uh, get rid of that curvy end of it. And now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to put the ladder together. Now I'm just taking a ruler to make sure that it's level um, before I start hot gluing the other side. So I'm just placing a little hot glue, but if you want to make a stronger hold, I would suggest E6000 or super glue or anything like that. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree Pretty Ribbon and I'm just going to create a little bow and place them on the ornaments. Now 
Now I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to put a little glue and place the little bow on top. I think it came out really cute, this little bow. So now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue down the little ornaments on the ladder. And it looks really cute the way it came out. I think the, I was debating if I should do it straight down the middle. And I think this way looks best. So I wanted to add a little bit of greenery to it. So I grabbed these from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take two of them and wrap them around the ladder. I'm not going to be using any hot glue. And I'm just going to apply them on the ladder because they have that wire inside. So now I grabbed this bell that I got from Dollar Tree and I figure um, I wanted to add it in the middle because the middle was bare. So I'm just going to hot glue it. Look how cute it looks. I think it's adorable. So now I'm going to grab these fairy lights that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap them around. No glue, just wrapping around the steps and... Um, just filling in where I think it will look really great. And this is what it looks like with the lights on. I think it's adorable and very Christmassy. And here is the final results. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? Okay, the last DIY, I took this Dollar Tree bag, Dollar Tree frame, and Dollar Tree ribbon. Now, if you want to make something really inexpensive and comes out fantastic, try this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the packaging out of the frame and remove the backing from the frame. So I'm just going to take part of the back and put that over the bag and trace it and then I will place it back inside the frame. Now I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to cut it out and make sure it fits okay in the frame and then close the frame backing and put it together. I thought this bag was very pretty when I seen it at Dollar Tree. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm going to make a little bow with the green and then I'm gonna make a little bow with the gold. The gold was kind of flimsy, but is a very pretty ribbon. So I'm making the bow with the green first and then I'm going to take some jute twine and then take the gold and make a smaller ribbon and put it on top and wrap it with the jute twine. I think these came out so adorable and the colors of the bows match the bag color perfectly. Now I'm just twisting the jute twine in the back and cutting off the ends and now I'm going to place a little bit of hot glue on the corner and place down this pretty bow. Quick and easy and came out fantastic. Look how beautiful this came out for under $2. Well I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and thank you again for joining me and I do appreciate it. Until next time guys, see you. Bye bye. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out the rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me
mistletoe While Santa's busy staying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake 